Oh, do I have something exciting inside this box? Let's open it up and check it out. Spoiler alert. <laughs> it's a new Sony full frame camera. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, they sent the white one. Look at this. It's so light. Most of the Sony ZV line is geared more towards vloggers and beginners. This is by far the best beginner camera that I could ever have wished to have had when I first started making YouTube videos. This right here is a full frame camera and most of these run for a pretty hefty price tag. So now that we have a full frame affordable Sony camera, game over. So this camera I would kind of put in the lineup between the Sony a7S III and the Sony FX3. Now there are some similarities, but there's also some differences why you would choose the higher end cameras over this one. But honestly, for most people who are just coming into this starting content creation, the past week that I've been using this camera, I am so blown away by the footage, even just going outside vlogging, that if this was swapped with one of my Sony a7S III's, I am not even sure if I would notice when I'm looking at the footage. Using the camera, I definitely would notice, first of all, because this is the white version, so it has a completely different look. Even the buttons and some of the layout of things, even the interface on the screen, it has a completely different feel than a bunch of the other cameras in the Sony Alpha lineup. So you can get this with just the body or the kit lens. So this is a 28 to 60 lens, and surprisingly, this is actually a pretty decent lens for how how much zoom you can get. Now, obviously one of the reasons that you would be getting this type of camera is to be able to swap out lenses. So the fact that you're able to just pop this off Add another lens will completely change the look and feel of your video. Why I really like this lens is if you are just using this for vlogging, this is so small, it's super compact, and even the camera body itself is super light. This does have a flip out screen just like so. Watch this, wait, this is great. Oop, there we go. So this just rotates, very similar to the a7S III. And I also like that it does flip this way so I can see myself when I'm recording. So Sony has so many different lines of cameras and in their ZV line, which is geared more towards vloggers and content creators and people kind of on the go, it has a recording button up here at the top, but it also has a light that you'll see in the front. And this is also something that I absolutely love is on the front of the display, you can see that there is a red ring all the way around the display. Hi, Nathan. Hey. Hello. And that will let you know that you're recording if you're filming this way. And there have been so many times when I'm filming and I actually don't realize that I didn't hit record. So this will alleviate all of that. The thoughtfulness that they put into this kind of a camera for newer content creators is something that I really love. Oh man, I'm so excited to be testing out this new camera. Right now I'm actually in Telluride. I've never been here before. We're going to dinner and we're in the little town and today we snowboarded all day. And I actually am very impressed. I, I mean, I fell a lot, but the amount that I fell the first time that I did this was exponential. So we are making progress. But this little town is so cute. Oh God. And it's The best part about having a full frame sensor is because the sensor is larger, once it gets dark out, that's gonna allow so much more light into the sensor so we'll be able to get lower light photos and video. So one of the reasons that I think a lot of people would choose this camera over the a7S III or the FX3 is obviously cost because this is a much less expensive device. And this does have some really fun AI features that some of these higher end cameras don't have. But some of the things that I feel like aren't really that big of a deal for some content creators is you can only use SD cards with this whereas the FX3 and the Sony a7S III, you can can use CF Express cards, which are much faster and will allow you to record higher quality media. So this can shoot up to 60 frames, 422 10-bit, which is equivalent to pretty much what you can film with the Sony a7S III. The big difference though is with recording time, so you won't be able to record as long as you could with the Sony a7S III. You're basically getting a high-end full-frame camera in a smaller, compact, lighter size with AI settings with a few features missing that most people probably really 
wouldn't even notice. So some of the fun features I feel like for a lot of newer content creators is the fact that it's taking into account that you may not actually know how to use a camera in all of the settings. And I totally get that because there are some settings even on my cameras now where I'm like, hold on a second. How do I do this? How do I do that? Well, the great thing about this is it will do a lot of these things for you. You don't have to actually do any adjustments. For example, it has this thing called product showcase. This is so great for me because obviously I'm always showcasing a product, but this will allow you to have a fast focus of something that you're holding. All right, so I'm gonna turn product showcase on. When I hold up an item, it focuses on it so fast. This looks like I'm holding up an Oreo, but it's actually just the lens cap. <laughs> product showcase. product showcase, an unboxer's dream. So now we're gonna test out the background defocus. Now this is a shot that I feel like a lot of people love to get. I'm such a huge fan of having kind of that beautiful blurred out bokeh. You can get that by adjusting the aperture. But honestly, if I told someone that who just got this camera, they're like, I don't even know what that means, which I mean, I feel like you probably kind of should maybe look it up, but with this, you don't really have to. You just hit background defocus. It automatically will adjust the aperture to give you that look and you don't even have to know anything. It hurts my soul, but also like that's freaking great. So right now the background defocus is on. So the background should be blurred out. You can't really see what's going on. I really love that bokeh look that you can get with a lens when you're turning the aperture all the way up. But with this, it does it automatically, so you don't even need to mess with any settings. So now we're gonna turn it off and it'll show you what it looks like without it. So here's what it looks like with the background defocus off. There are a lot of factors that go into this depending upon the type of lens you have, what the aperture actually is, and this is a 4.5. So this isn't really gonna give you that much defocus, but yeah, this is what it looks like. This other feature that I really like is it has a Cinevlog feature. So when I click on this, this changes a bunch of settings. It turns it into Cinetone footage and it also makes it widescreen and 24 frames a second. Then when you go in, this gives you some different types of flavors of Cinetone. So this is auto color correcting your footage to give you a really cool look. The first thing that we're testing out here is the Cinevlog and this is with nothing on. This is off, 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 off. Next one will be on. So here we are in Cinevlog, it is now on, and this has a more cropped look because it does do the widescreen, and I was already shooting at 24 frames a second, but this will automatically take it down to 24. And we don't have any looks on yet, so no little added flavors. So this is what it looks like, just normal cine tone, no added color effects. So let's add the first one, shall we? So this is the gold variation of the cine tone. Check it out. How does it look? Shining, shimmering, gold and splendid. This is Cinetone Ocean. How does it look? Does it look like I'm swimming under the sea? It's always greener in somebody else's lake. Here's Cinetone Forest. Does it look like I'm out in the forest, uh, hunting and gathering, planting, foraging for mushrooms? There are so many color variations. Now, in addition to Cinetone is this. This is clean. Now within the clean, there's other variations that you can do of this as well. This is clean auto, but you can also change this to gold, ocean, and forest. You can also adjust the levels of intensity, high, medium, or low. But we're just gonna go through the basic ones so you guys can see. This is clean. What do we have coming up next? Here we have chic up next. How does it look? I don't know. <laughs> the best part about shooting these types of videos is kind of going back and watching the footage. So like I'm enjoying it at the same time as you guys are while I'm editing it. So here it is, chic. Next up we have fresh. How fresh does this look? Do I look like super fresh, like the produce owl at Whole Foods? I don't know, <laughs> hard to say. <laughs> Here's fresh. And next we have mono. So this is a nice black and white, and this doesn't have the option of giving you a gold ocean or forest because obviously it's it's black and white. So this is this is what you get. It does have the low, medium, and high settings though. So if you do want to add a little more, you could do that as well. But here it is. These are all of the color looks that you have for the cinematic vlog options. There's so many options in here. I'm overwhelmed. Like I'm basically only gonna be able to scratch the surface of what this camera can do in this video. It's just a quick little overview, but man, wow, there's so many things.
we are now at the top of the mountain going to dinner. Like we took the gondola all the way up. We're here. Oh, this is so cool. Now one of the reasons that people love full frame cameras is because the sensor is much larger, so this will allow you to get more light. So this is so much better for low light videos and photography. And the other thing, of course, that I love about these types of cameras is you can use full frame lenses. Now this is a new lens from Sony, and this is the 20 to 70, and I'm absolutely obsessed. Now this lens is an f4, so a lot of the G Master lenses are like a 2.8 or a 1.8. So even though this is an f4, the fact that this is so small and compact, the fact that I can get 20 to 70 inside of here is awesome. Let's swap our lenses real quick. Now why I love this lens is this is much higher quality glass than this one, but because this is a 20, this makes it almost like the ultimate vlogging lens. Now because this is a 20 millimeter, that's gonna give you a much wider field of view when you're vlogging. So here we go, I am vlogging. Now there's a couple options for steadying your footage. Now right now I have all of the steady options off, so this is just completely handheld, nothing special. This right here is in standard, which I usually use, and you can see that there is a full frame here, and when I switch to get this footage a little bit more steady, that's when it crops in slightly to help with the stabilization. And here it is, a little bit of a crop. This is active steady, so I love putting this on because it gives you a much smoother kind of vlog style, cinematic feel, and here we are, look at that. Super smooth, super steady. Gotta love it. Now we have one more setting in here, which is dynamic active. So this is super, super steady, but it does crop in a little bit more. So there you see, we are cropped in, but it's also very, very steady, super stable. And I mean, obviously like I'm just holding this here, but when I'm walking around and being able to get smooth, steady shots of scenery or whatever it is that you're filming, that's when I would definitely be using this. This also has something that is very unique. It has like an AI auto framing option. Now this is really interesting. So as you can see here, I'm not really moving around, but the camera is actually moving a bunch and you'll see I'm staying in the center of the frame. So this is like you would give to someone who maybe doesn't even know how to use a camera and they can keep you in the center of the frame because it does all the work for you and it seems like the magic of this is it's cropping in significantly so it's giving the camera a lot of space to move around to keep you in the center and it just knows like it just knows that you should be in the middle of the frame i'm i'm so impressed another fun ai feature in this is with the microphone it has microphone directivity now i have a microphone that i used to use by deity and it was really cool because it had a front and back microphone and you could choose to use both the front and the back and each one would kind of record on a separate track or you could decide to use the front or the back well what's cool about this is if you turn it on auto it will automatically detect where the microphone should be pointing so say i'm out filming some scenery or just filming something and I'm talking about whatever it is that I'm looking at, the microphone will automatically detect that I'm behind and that's where the microphone should be directed. But say I'm over here, oh, Nathan is now in the frame. It's gonna know to switch the microphone to him. Uh, hello, hello, hello. The microphone is now listening to me and my voice saying the ABCs, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But you can also manually decide where you wanna have the microphone so it doesn't switch. So if you know you're out filming and you only want it to be focusing on you, I'm going to switch it to the rear. <laughs> so now it should only be focusing on my voice. Hi, Nathan, hello. Hi, can you still hear me? Camera, can you hear me? Hello camera, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, J, K, L, M, P. Like, I'm sure I can hear you, but you can probably hear me better. Okay, so now this is me talking. So this is what it sounds like from me behind the camera. Hey, how's it going? Hey friends, yep. hey, hi, hello. Yep. Now we're gonna switch it to all directions. So this is front, back, all around. Hi Nathan. Hi, now we're talking the same tone of voice and um, I'm excited about Mario Kart. So now here I am filming myself, so if you're back there talking. I'm still talking about Mario Kart over here. Yep. So the microphone setting is definitely very interesting and I am super hyped to take this camera out vlogging. It's so light, oh, I love it. The other thing that I like about this is it does have an XLR hot shoe. So when you do take off your little microphone hat, your microphone wig, windscreen, whatever you wanna call it, this does give you access to this. Now you can use any of the Sony XLR hot shoe compatible devices. 
microphones, we've got plenty. So now with the XLR hot shoe, why this is so great is you don't have any other cables. You can just plug in a microphone and there you go. Automatically have a microphone that's attached and the camera will recognize it. Now, if you don't have one of these microphones and you have one that actually has a 3.5 millimeter input like so, that's okay because we do have a 3.5 millimeter microphone inputs. We also have headphone monitoring, a micro HDMI output, USB-C, and that is where our SD card is. Now this is a Sony XLR input that I use all the time. This is basically what I've been using for years for audio input. Now why I like this is because it does have two XLR inputs. So I'm able to use this Sennheiser AVX wireless system. And if I wanna have an additional shotgun mic, I can plug that in as well. Fully kitted out. It definitely adds a little bit of weight, <laughs> but honestly, considering the alternative, I'm into it. I really love this AI feature. It will recognize when two people are in the frame and auto adjust the aperture so that both are in focus. You'll see in this demo, the aperture is automatically starting to change as Nathan comes into the frame. So you'll see I'm still in focus, he was out of focus, and then he slowly starts coming into focus. Super cool. I think he did it. Okay, go see. Okay, I'm gonna pull Go up. see, go, go see. Is it doing it? Is it changing back? Yeah. <gasps> If I would have had this when I first started vlogging, I don't even know. Another thing this has is a self timer. So you can set a timer for three seconds, five seconds, or 10 seconds, and you can have this be repeated or only once. So right now I'm just gonna do it once. So we're gonna do three seconds and I'm gonna flip that around. Hi. Hello. So something else that is cool on this that I really love is they have an S and Q setting. And I'm not gonna lie, for the longest time, I didn't actually realize what that stood for. It stands for slow and quick. This will give you a really quick way to be able to jump into slow-mo videos or time lapses. I did actually shoot a little time lapse here in Colorado when I was in Telluride, and I love shooting time lapses. And the fact that this was so simple and easy to do made this time lapse just like that easy. So you can shoot 60 frames a second and you can do up to 4K 120 and HD 240. Those will actually be coming out later at launch. So I can't actually test those out right now, but it is pretty cool that if you do want to shoot slow-mo videos up to 240, you can actually do that on here. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out this camera and get more information because there is honestly so much more that I didn't get a chance to cover. This is such a powerful camera for the price that honestly, I'm, I'm shook. I'm just everything about it, every time I jump into the menu and just test it out more, I'm more and more impressed. So I look forward to seeing what you guys think of it. And I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think about all of this AI powered videography, photos, all of this stuff that is now being powered by AI? I'm kind of into it, but it's also really scary because what is even real anymore? I don't even know. Do I care? Do you care? I don't know. I'm so conflicted, but I'm not conflicted in the fact that I really love this camera and this lens. See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos because I will be posting a bunch here shortly. I've been filming a bunch of fun stuff for you guys, so I will see you there. And I think that's it. Okay, bye.